What's up, your boy Super Skater seventy two seven nine seven here with an interesting video. Actually, uh, got a little bit into basketball. So what I've done is I've gotten a pair of Reeboks. Now, of course, you can tell these are the Reebok Zigtex. You can tell they have some information on the Zigtex on here in two different languages. Of course, they're Spanish and English. Got the Reebok right there. The rest of the box is pretty whatever, except for over here. Got Zigtex size nine. It's a Zig Slash high top. So here they are. It's traditional coloring and stuff. Uh, it also comes with a little thing that tells you how Zigtex works, basically. Here. And you got the paper and your receipts or whatever, because I went to this actual store to get the shoes today. So, there's the Zigtex. The first thing about the shoe, of course, is the zigzag part, which is all kind of like a really hard plastic. It's really absorbent from shock, you know? You really got to get in there to feel it like... You have to drop at least 200 feet to, you know, get through that white stuff. That's not even gross. But to get through that is pretty hard. And then on the toe and heel, you got black reinforcements, which is a harder plastic. And this is more of a foamish when this is more foam. So it's got that nice tag. You got, of course, zigzag on the bottom to show that it's a zigzag. You can see it says Reebok across. You also have a very nice, really nice padded mesh tongue and a, a sock liner. And they're both covered in sweat abs sweat absorbent pads so you can see it's got kind of a second layer of padding which is new about this shoe because most shoes do not have that you can see it's a second layer um got the Reebok logo right there and the white laces which are really nice even though I didn't get them with the shoe you also have on the inside other than the sock liner really um breathable shoe and you got breathing holes on the entire side here and you also have a second layer of perforated plastic over the mesh and you also have over here weird kind of a strange fake suede really low quality suede here not low quality but it's good and this is the plastic covering uh, plastic it's covering leather and um the only metal metal uh shoe lace holder is the top ones you have a removable insole. Some people will probably say, no, Mike, you can't, you can't, you know, it's hard, I've tried it, blah, blah, blah. Well, I tried too, and it's in here. And here it is. So, it's really, it's like a foam, basically, but it's really, really good and absorbent. It's uh, flexible, of course, and then re-adjustable. It readjusts, so you can go like that and then put it back out, and then eventually it'll go back to regular form. You can see the back is adjusting. There it is. So, got the Reebok logo there, which is already worn out because I've already tried them today. You got the tag also right in there, plain and obvious. Um, yeah, so the entire shoe is double stitched, and you got like a... The Reebok logo over here is kind of covered like a guitar pick version of BK mesh, which is a harder mesh. This is more opening mesh. It's all double stitched, like I said, and it's a really nice, great shoe. I got it at Champs for 70 bucks. Um, I would suggest if you're going to use them for basketball to get this one because first of all, it's the original and second of all, I could have gotten them in all white leather or whatever, but this one's better because it's just like able to get dirty or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, this is size 9. The Reebok Zig Slash, and um, interesting little side note is uh, that interesting side. Sorry, I am um, in the brain fart. My dad is, uh, went to Sunday school when he was a kid with the kid that eventually bought the Reebok Corporation. So his friend owns the Reebok Corporation now, or his ex friend. He hasn't talked to him in a while, but I'll see if I can maybe get to him and you know go to the Reebok factory because even though. They're not skate shoes, that would be pretty cool to go to. But, um, also, one more side note, I'm gonna be starting a blog for shoes. If I see someone walking by with some cool shoes, I'm gonna blog about it, you know? Whatever, I'm gonna go straight at it.
So, uh, I don't like this song. There we go. So, if there's a pair of shoes I see, I like them. I'm gonna blog about it. So, keep in touch for my blog, bitches. That sucked. Uh, yeah, so, that's the Zig Slash. Look out for my blogs, and peace!